I want to emphasize here, the differences I'm talking about are differences on top of very capable baseline LLM capacity. These models are all good at lots and lots of everyday tasks. They're good at writing emails. They're good at synthesizing PRDs. They're good at writing engineering requirements. The things I'm calling out are the nuances that help you make the most of these models. So prompting shifts in line with this insight around entropy, right? So Gemini 3 prompts, you actually are spending your effort on output structure, you're spending your effort on task constraints, on how you anchor phrases and name and define which part of the context you're retrieving. So you need to get comfortable feeding high entropy multimodal context, which I normally shy away from, but you have to define what good synthesis looks like and good analysis looks like across that context. So schemas, ranking criteria, what you retrieve, et cetera. Whereas with GPT 5.1, you're spending more of your time defining the task definition. Is that really clean? Is it un unambiguous? You're making sure you insist on the tone you want and you may pre-process it so that well-structured context is available to the model so that it can think deeply and not wade through junk. If you want all of this in one line, use Gemini 3 to tame the chaos of your inputs and use ChatGPT 5.1 when you're tackling hard thinking and communication around more structured inputs, once that chaos is structured. You can do some of both with both models, but that is the takeaway I am starting to come to.